hot as ball sack. <laughs> I'm Kira from LSTV and I'm here with the one and only. I thought you said LSD. Uh, <laughs> baby, no money. So we're here at Leeds Festival 2022. How are you finding the UK festival scene so far? It's fun. A lot of people here are turned up as shit balls. I, I, I did this photo shoot and there, there was like probably about, I don't know, like how many people I saw, but like at least 10 or 15 of the dudes take their glasses off and their pupils are just fully dilated. And I'm like, <laughs> Who's got the drugs? Oh, no. <laughs> Did you prefer the crowd at Reading or at Leeds? I think I had more people at Reading, mm -hmm. so the energy could have been similar. Also, every single person was like, yo, Leeds is going to be way more lit, way more lit. And I was like expecting more, but uh, I think the crowds were pretty similar. Okay. But uh, I think my performance was a little tighter and I had an extra five minutes in Reading, so it is what it is. But. I think they had fun at Leeds. The guys who were booing me, I told them to like eat eat my dick. And I was just like, yo, everyone else boo me. So then everyone leveled the playing field so they were no ones. So Love fuck that. you guys. Yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> and out of all your songs, which is your favorite to perform? <sighs> I'm, I perform my songs a lot. I don't really like performing them that much. Uh, this is a song called Help Yourself. I don't really play it at festivals because they typically Festivals just go, uh, you want a party? Because mm -hmm. I'm like more of a partier-esque on stage than it is like alternative rock, but I have this song called Help Yourself and it's like alternative. And when I play it in my headlines, it's like, it's beautiful. Everyone sings along, it's, it's super cool. Love that. And um, I guess you could say that TikTok has had a little bit of an influence on some of your songs, but how do you feel about TikTok as a platform for sort of catapulting songs into popularity? I mean, I could go on for days about the benefit of it, uh, but if you're an artist listening to this and you are apprehensive about using TikTok, you're a fucking moron. So just use TikTok. It's helped me a ton. Uh, you know, I, sometimes you can post a wake up, post a video of you doing literally nothing with a stupid caption. And every single interview I've ever done in my life will not amount to that video. So just like weigh it in, you know, think about it. So. And what drove you to begin making music? I had nothing better to do. And uh, I broke my back. I used to be a competitive swimmer. And I was super depressed and I used to write poetry for fun and I wanted to just start saying really dumb shit on beats because I like rap music and uh, now I'm here, so. Oh, lovely. And since starting, you've had several collaborative projects including with Young Gravy, Rich Brian, etc, etc. Um, is there any artist that would be like a dream collab for you? Pharrell Williams. Mm. I really want to make a song with Pharrell. It'll happen soon. It'll happen. And what's next for you? I go to Southeast Asia, Australia, and then I do an American tour with Young Gravy, and then I drop an album, and then Gravy and I do an album, and then I make another album, and then I drop that album, and the cycle continues, and I lose my fucking mind, and I talk to my therapist every day. He's a busy man. Lots yeah. to get through. Thank you very much for talking to us oh, today. You. Appreciate it. Bye. Whoa. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, That's great. Thank you.